Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a super quick look at the capsule day, the things you need to be doing for the Tengu fits. That's what we're going to be concentrating on. I think that's one of the best things to run right now in the sites. So we're going to show you a cheap fit and obviously a, like a full sweat mode fit, which I've been using for the last couple of days. Works pretty well. Uh, but the first thing you need to be doing, guys, is go to the Nest store and claim your free 50k skill points. So this is absolutely free, no plex needed. Just claim that on each of your accounts. There we go. Not bad, that goes into your referral bar, so you can sort that out from there. Right, let's switch tunes and we'll check out the Tengus. Alright guys, let's start with the cheap Tengu. So it's around 427 mil, although if I just bring the market up right quick, someone's been clever and bought all of the Tengu amp nodes. So there's a bit of market PvP going on here. Luckily I had some nodes anyway. And if you've got a Tengu yourself, obviously you can build around this. But uh, yeah, just to be aware that the Jitter market's a bit uh, cluster at the minute. So someone's making some cash there. But yeah, back to the cheap goo. So uh, both fits are going to be rock and heavy assault missile launchers. Pretty much the same fit, but this one's like T2 and meta. So we've got two medium shield boosters. A uh, cap battery for obviously with cap. There is a lot of newts in the sites. We've got an endurance stasis web. Uh, would like a T2 obviously, but the CPU is like mega tight without any implants or anything. And that's partly why we've got to use the medium overclocker as well. Because we're running like all the T2 ballistic control systems, all four of them, and they take up like tons of CPU. You could actually drop on and use a meta damage control just to save a little bit as well, but personal preference. Uh, the web, I really feel like you should keep as well if you're not running any Hydra implants or any other application mods in the rigs. I think it really helps, especially the Rage, because I use Rage quite a lot, and I think like it's just me being lazy. Obviously, you can use the Caldari Navy stuff for more application lose a little bit of dps but it's gained like versus like damage down but we do like a just a thousand damage with max skills right now for this we haven't got any implants in or anything no pyro drugs so it's literally as cheap as we can go pretty much but yeah works pretty well you can probably see in the footage that we've got overlaid right now that uh, i did test the tank versus the praxis literally sitting still uh, i'm not sure if it's at that part yet i'll put it on later but it tanks pretty fine, and I think like the for the Praxis especially having the two AM rigs is uh, pretty good because like the Praxis does chunk once those uh, AM cruise missiles start hitting you, right? And it does web you down as well. So you can obviously see we were like no prop mod. Uh, we've got the tractor beam to scoop the loot in if need be. But yeah, it's pretty good, and you can still actually win fights with this as well. Uh, like boss, like DPS races, we're hitting one thousand one hundred ninety-eight DPS. So, well, basically like 1200 DPS heated. So even for a cheap Tengu, this thing still absolutely rocks people's worlds. Uh, we do carry the, the blue pill booster just in case things do go south. But it should be absolutely fine. Like I say, I've tested this a few times in the different sites. And uh, yeah, you can see it working in the fudge. So pretty cool. Now let's move on to the proper Tengu. All right, this is the... Proper Tengu, and uh, I mean proper just by the, the full, like, try-hard mode, pretty much. The one we usually use every event, pretty much. I think this was similar last year as well, except we had a prop. So we'll just go over it again uh, real quick. Tractor beam for the loot, assault missile launchers, because they do, like, ridiculous amounts of damage. So we're doing 1225.9 DPS with this thing, and that's more cold than the other Tengu was uh, heated, right? So keep that in mind as well with the implants, which we'll go over in a minute. A uh, couple of medium shield boosters. I really like the like the two medium shield booster setup versus the large. Again, personal preference. You can switch that around. I just feel like that gives a, a really good tank. Republic Fleet large cap battery for a cap because we're going to be getting neutered and stuff, and we need some resistance against that. The dark blood stasis web of fire. Now this is really cool because the base range is 15 kilometers. You can get the 14k with the 60% velocity, but I really like the dark bloods because when we're heated, it does go to like 20k. Not that we need to, and really with this um, implant set, the Hydras, we don't need the web at all. It's just really good at keeping the boss close to you when it comes to you, because the boss will web you and it will get away a little bit. And most of the time you don't need to use the tractor beam to, to loot, it's just there for the lols pretty much. We've got the Pithex shield boost amp, which gives like crazy amounts of HP extra. So we've got 354 HP per three seconds with this, and that's 200... 30, oh no, let's have a look, shield boost rate, yeah, so per second we've got 235.9 from both of them, that's quite a lot of tank, it's nice. 
In the lows, we've got the Navy BCUs, obviously, which are really nice. I need to start, like, Abyssal Roll and some of this stuff as well. Um, again, we're rocking just one EM rig this time and a couple of more um, application rigs. So the Flare and the Riga. So these give, like, explosion velocity bonuses and speed bonuses to the ships you're hitting and stuff. Or minus speed, rather. Minus velocity. We'll not go over them in too much detail. I've got, I've got a video covering the whole setup on this. So I'll try and link in the description. Uh, and for the subsystems, we didn't go over this before, sorry. So we've got the amp node. This gives you extra boost on the shield boosters, as well as like another things, the three mid slots and all that. Accelerated ejection bay because we're all hams. Now, this is where it'll probably differ for a lot of people's style, I think. So a lot of people might use the fuel catalyst, which will give you one extra mid and one less low. So just keep that in mind. You can have a little bit extra tank for a little bit less damage. Again, being a modular ship, and we've got the Graviton reactor for all the power and stuff. So yeah, pretty much run-of-the-mill Tengu from me. All right, as for the implants, guys, of course, we're going full sweat. So we've got the full high-grade Hydra set, which we covered on the implant video recently, which is uh, worth a check out if you're not sure about all the bonuses. But a uh, brief overview, they give you extra range for your missiles, and they give you more application for your missiles as well, and drones, so it affects missiles and drones, so it's really good for the Gila especially, but for the Tengu, it's just absolutely incredible. You get some ridiculous ranges with the, even the range, you get like 35 kilometers, so that's pretty good. And for the hardwires, we've got the Omega for the set, and we've got the AM706, I can't remember what this does actually. So 6% heavy assault missile damage, so that's perfect for us. The missile precision and prediction, navigation prediction, they give you application, which is like overkill as well because of the Hydra set. And we've got the 6% rapid launch implant as well for just more damage. So yeah, just like I say, full sweat mode. We can run a pyro and everything and get like even more damage, but you know, don't see the point of spend the money. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. For the Tengus at least, I did forget to mention at the start, we have been doing some Astero stuff as well. We did some scanning. I'll probably overlay some footage of that as well. And I got really lucky on the one of the first sites I dropped into. It wasn't actually an event site, but we did get... Uh, oh, I haven't got it in the cargo now. We did get a relic site and I pulled out like 100 mil like straight off the bat. And then we got like another 120, I think, from the, the site itself. And uh, yeah, so we've done pretty good. I think I'm done with the event now. I don't really need to, to carry on getting any more of the skins or anything. They're not that great, to be honest. But I'll just show you the loot I did get just while I was doing me testing, if I can find the can here. So that's pretty much everything apart from these few telecon things, which were from the Virtue implant set vid. So I pulled in just over a bill, you know, not bad. And this bit, this bit, and these are actually pulled from a, a Hecate who warped into one of the sites and died. And I, I just suspect looted him. So yeah, that was what, like nearly 100 mil there. So pretty good. Seeing lots of dead cruisers and stuff in the sites. But yeah, I think that's going to cover everything, guys. Any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments. All the fits and all that sort of stuff will be in the video description or any music I use as well. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.